Hey guys, today I thought I would do a video about my pregnancy scrapbook because I've done a video on my channel similar to this before and you guys seem to absolutely love it and scrapbooking is literally one of my favourite things to do, I absolutely adore it. I'm going to do as much of this video as I can whilst Bubs is like in her little play area, playing on her own. So if you hear any screeching in the background, I'm really sorry. My baby girl, Lexi, is nine months old today. <laughs> Where is the time gone? I do not know. <laughs> There you go, there she's screeching in the background. <laughs> oh, just in case you are new, my name is Charlie and on this channel I do lots of adventures, travels, mum tips, lifestyle. It's kind of a little bit of a mixture of our day-to-day -day stuff and family and a bit of everything. We even run a small blacksmithing business. My husband is a blacksmith. So yeah, it's kind of a mismatch of lots of different things thrown in with travel when we can get back to travel. We are going to the UK very soon, so we're gonna be doing lots of adventures from Australia to the UK, and I'll be doing like, you know, tips videos on how to travel with a baby, because hopefully by then I'll know what's going on. I'm currently like researching that myself. Anyway, let's get into my scrapbook. I haven't actually looked at this scrapbook in quite a while, and it just, brings back so many memories and so many emotions from what I was feeling at the time, especially when I was making it. I put lots of like quotes in and things that just really like spark that emotion. And that brings me into another slight topic in the fact that I actually prefer to do scrapbooks rather than um, like a bit traditional baby books where you just have to like basically fill them out and write everything in purely because I feel like you've got a little bit more flexibility with making your own scrapbook and you can just do whatever you want. I personally like to start with just a plain ring binder scrapbook. As a scrapbook grows you've got lots of space in it to actually you know, fill it out basically. I personally, again, like the, I don't even know what you call this, just brown paper style. Um, I also do like the just plain black ones as well. I'm not a big fan of just white paper, so I never go for just white. I like to use masking tape to stick everything in. I find it just is, not only is it easy, but it's also like a look for the scrapbook because I like it to look kind of scrappy and obviously everything's stuck in. It's not supposed to look neat and tidy and there's always lots of different textures and things. So that's something, that's just kind of my style. I also picked up quite a lot of like little stickers to put in just to give you know, extra dimensions to it, which I quite often put in afterwards. I actually designed this scrapbook with the intention of being able to kind of show Lexi when she's older and tell the story of her in my tummy. Like for instance here I've written mummy's tummy at 12 weeks pregnant. I also wanted to put some fun things in like for instance on this page I've got the the side the, the kind of fruit sizes of what the baby is in the bump or whatever the baby size. Oh my goodness I seriously have baby brain I'm, I'm struggling to articulate what I'm trying to say and then I have the the man guide so what like the the equivalent in man things like for instance uh, a rugby ball etc etc. <laughs> Here's another example of where I addressed the the book kind of to Lexi when I've written the day we found out that you were a girl. Oh my goodness, seriously. This just brings back so many memories. I wanted to put some Disney in here. Obviously, I'm a Disney girl and Lexi is totally gonna be a Disney girl. Along with obviously the photos and everything that I wanted to put in, I wanted to just have uh, a kind of a, a theme for the scrapbook, you know, and, and this one, I just wanted to have lots of quotes and inspiration. This is one of my favorite pages because I took the most time over it. As you can see here, I went through and actually cut out some favorite comments or just things that were funny and put them all over this picture. This was when we announced um, on social media and yeah, everyone just had such beautiful comments and such lovely things. I wanted to keep some of them in here forever. I mean, obviously I have all of them in a folder somewhere on my computer, but that's another thing. Now, I had, did say this in my last video, but I am 
a strong believer in printing your favorite photos out. You know, you want to be able to look at them. You don't want to be looking at them on a screen. One of my pet hates is something that I personally do myself as well, but is when people just take hundreds and hundreds of photos on their phone and that's it. They just stay on their phone. What is the point in that? Oh my goodness, I just hate this digital age of the fact that you can take a million photos and then they just stay on your phone or on a hard drive. I mean, it's just completely pointless. It kind of makes me miss when you used to have a, an actual camera that you had to get developed and you actually really treasured those photos. You only had one shot or like two shots of each thing because you're obviously not going to waste an entire camera roll on taking photos of the same thing. And it meant that you really treasured those photos and we've kind of completely lost that in this digital age. So that's one of the other reasons I absolutely love scrapbooking because I want to really treasure those photos and it makes you pick the best one or the best two or three and then you can just kind of almost get rid of the rest because I mean you don't need 17 pictures of the same identical thing. But yeah, that's another advantage to scrapbooking. This is one of my favorite pages as well, it was last Christmas. This is when the baby was the size of a scrum diddly umptious wonka bar. <laughs> How cute is that? I can't believe that we just had Lexi's first Christmas and I look back at these photos of when I was pregnant in front of the Christmas tree. I very much try with my scrapbooks as well to put in some of the, I guess some of the bad stuff as well, just some of the memories and bits and bobs that I just would probably forget otherwise, like this picture here of when I had the gestational diabetes test. I wanted to put that in. I'm absolutely terrified of blood tests. I absolutely hate them. <laughs> I don't think anyone likes blood tests, but yeah, I just wanted to put everything in just to kind of keep it as a whole experience, like more rounded, if that makes sense. I also really love to put in quotes and just moments that kind of resonate with me at the time because then when you look back on it you really it brings you back to that moment when you felt like that this one in particular was very funny because it just summed it up and it's Rachel from friends when she's pregnant and she's like when you're pregnant and your husband asks what you did today and she's just there like balancing a drink on her tummy I was like that is exactly how it is <laughs> It's so crazy as well, like I have in this book, I have all the things that we were doing as well to prepare for bubs, like doing the, putting the nursery together and we bought the pram and oh, it's just, it really just brings back all those little things and it just also helps to show you kind of how far you've gone. I mean, I remember putting that nursery together and I did not have a clue what I was doing. <laughs> Another one of my favorite pages in this book is when I tried to walk 10,000 steps a day uh, to support one of my friends in the UK and I did it for the whole week, but then, oh my goodness, <laughs> I was way too pregnant to be walking that much and my feet just got so unbelievably swollen. It was just a complete disaster. But then again, it's just one of those pages that then takes me back to that week and that event and how I felt. I don't know how they did this, but my friends in the Riverland managed to completely surprise me with a baby shower. They just blew me away. I did not expect it at all. They did it British afternoon tea themed. It was absolutely amazing. They even got some biscuit brew for me. You guys know how much I love biscuit brew. If you know, you know. Anyway, I have kept loads of the things from the baby shower. So I kept loads of the games that we had and the predictions. And they did this really cute thing where they wrote little notes to put inside nappies for when you had like midnight changes, which is really sweet. So I kept all of those. And when I look back on this now, it's just, oh, it's just such, an, such a great memory to have, you know? And everyone did their predictions on names and, um, whether they thought the bobs was gonna look more like me or Tom and um, I've also kept all the cards that people wrote to me as well. So for this scrapbook I actually still have more to do in it. I got to the end and I hadn't quite put everything in yet. Basically one of my tips when you're putting scrapbooks together is to keep absolutely everything. Like for instance here I have a piece of twine that was used for a game to guess 
how big mum's belly is. So everyone was trying to trying to basically get exact the exact circumference of my tummy, and I kept the one that was the closest because I thought that'd be quite fun to put in my scrapbook. I actually have an entire box here of the next batch of stuff. So I thought it'd be good today to kind of go through it because I have basically filled out the first scrapbook and I got a second one to do. So I have, well, actually, I have a whole pile of stuff here ready to go into the, the second part of the pregnancy scrapbook and I have a whole box of things here. So I thought it'd be fun just to talk you through some of the things that I do when it comes to scrapbooking because what I'm gonna do is put a scrapbook together for Lexi's first year and I'm gonna keep each milestone card next to the photos they take of her, obviously, with the milestone. So today she is nine months. <laughs> I have various milestones cards for each thing. My favorite ones are definitely the Disney ones, but I really, I do like all of the other cards as well. So I have kept all of the cards every time. So they're gonna be ready to go into the, uh, her first, first year scrapbook. I have a little tag here from her very first swim. <laughs> it's really cute. It's a little armband that you have to put on the baby. It says, if you can't reach me, you're too far away. I mean, I find it quite hilarious because I mean, if you go swimming with the bubs, you don't even let go of them. So <laughs> whatever, but you know. I kept, one piece of each type of the wrapping paper that we use for Christmas for, um, for all of her presents. I think I'm probably just gonna use it as maybe like background on those pages that I do for her first Christmas. I have still got things to do on my pregnancy scrapbook like I've got my tags that I put on the bags for the hospital. I have stickers from when we went to hospital. I just kind of wanted to definitely put in the era that Lexi was born and that is, you know, the COVID era. So I wanted to put in all the things to show like the protocols that we went through and having to have, hey squeaky, having to have visitor badges. For the next part of the pregnancy scrapbook, I've also kept all of the leaflets that they gave us in hospital because I want to put some of that in as well. Again, I've kept some paper from presents that were given to her because it makes really good backgrounds and like you can just kind of slice little bits off and tear it and put it in as a background. Hey little one. Oh. Basically, this pile is all to go in the second part of the scrapbook because I've got all of the cards that I still need to put in. Oh, look at this. I even have my birth plan that I took to the hospital. <laughs> Obviously, nothing went to plan. If you've not seen my birth video, I'll put it in the description. I highly recommend you watch it. It's got some good advice on, you know, how things don't often go to plan, but you just have to kind of get on with it. Another little scrapbooking tip for you is go to your local like craft shop and pick up a load of like stickers and things like that. Like I said before, it's really good to put some like stickers in there just to put some like extra variety and you can like do titles and things like that. I haven't even got to that just yet. I literally kept like everything to go in my scrapbook. I like to have like things that even like stick out. Like I've got this beautiful little it's a girl sticker. Lit sticker? Like prod that came in, a bouquet of clothing. How cute is that? I've also kept all of the ribbons that came on presents and things like that because they make really, really good things to go to like add to the scrapbook. I'm gonna have to make a video when I've actually finished the pregnancy one, which I will get to do hopefully when I, you know, get some spare time. Oh look, this is mine and Lexi's hospital tag. <laughs> Look how cute and tiny this is. These are actually things that I might not put in the scrapbook. I might put them in Lexi's little baby book. Baby book? Did I just say baby book? Baby box. I'm gonna have to do a video on that because I have collected so many things over Lexi's like first year that are gonna be special for her little baby box. Like some of her favorite outfits, well, my favorite outfits. And well, there's lots of things in there, but that's a whole nother video. And that is gonna be basically stuff that doesn't fit in a scrapbook. That's not, not really kind of flat. Oh, look, I even have the little card that we put on her for when she was born to announce her name. How cute is that? I had actually even made like generic cards to put, I was gonna write 
all of this information, but you know what? In the whole kerfuffle of the birth and everything, I just, I just didn't get a chance to do that. And I still to this day have no idea how tall she was when she was born. They just didn't measure her height. We have her weight and everything and the exact time and date, but I don't have her height, so oopsie. I even kept the notes that I had stuck on the fridge that were to, to help Tom, like, what to do in early labour and all this stuff. So I thought it'd just be fun to keep. And I, oh, I even have my hospital list. All the bits and bobs, all the different bags to make sure that Tom could like tick them off. I've got the list of bags and I've got all the last minute things I needed to grab. I've even made a note to say, to do, put the bins out. <laughs> I obviously had to get Lexi involved because she was squeaking and <laughs> she wants me, wants me to play with her. So on that note, thanks for watching guys. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please hit the like button because it really helps support my channel. And if you're not already subscribed, then I'd love you to consider clicking that red button and subscribing because it, again, it helps support my channel. It's totally free to do. And stick around to see more family adventures with Lexi. One day, baby girl, I'm gonna show you and tell you the story of you in mummy's dummy.